Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on Streamlabs OBS. So basically what I'm going to be showing you guys is how you can actually set up a really cool stream like the, like the one which I've got right here. And this only took me one, maybe two hours to fully set everything up. But you can probably set up a really quick live stream if you know what you're, what you're doing in probably less than 10 minutes um using streamlabs obs if you don't know how to install this literally just type in a google streamlabs obs click on the first link and then boom install it i'm not going to do a download tutorial on how i install streamlabs obs i'm just going to show you a general overview of how to like um get started on obs if you do want a tutorial download uh for streamlabs obs ask <laughs> ask us in the comments because then i'll know <clears throat> but we're gonna go over this right now. We're gonna go over how to set up some really cool stuff on your stream as OBS. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna actually have to download a theme. So I'm gonna go over what I've got on mine right now. Um, I actually have a starting screen, as you can see down this column here, where all the, all the different screens. Then in, in this section, we'll have all the different layers um, on, this, on the current screen. Um, so this is the starting screen. This is what you would see if I were to start a live stream on YouTube. You, this is what you would see. You will see on my social media right here. Uh, you see stream is starting and it has a little YouTube counter for how many viewers I have currently live. And then it has a rough schedule of when I live stream. And then I also have put a, um, a counter up here. Now, if I refresh this um, page right now, this kind of starts ticking down. Now, I actually have a stream deck up and running. So I've set up a lot of commands um, to link up to one another. So I'm going to load up stream, the stream deck right now. This is it right here. This is the start of commands one. Um, it's got six, ac six actions. Now, obviously, if you um, don't have a stream deck, you won't be able to do this. But you can pull off the same thing, you know what I mean? But what this actually does, if you do have a stream deck, you can actually pull this off. Um, it's when you click, when I click this button on my stream deck, it starts the stream. It changes the scene to the starting screen, so then the time starts counting down. It mutes my audio, so then I can't talk whilst it's counting down. Uh, so I can set everything up. It then um, oh, there's a bike going past. It then um, it opens a. Uh, it opens the actual uh, source right here, so it, uh, but where is it? Yeah, it, it, it activates this source right here, so the time starts ticking down. It also then opens an app, so I can get ready in case I want to live stream on my Xbox, uh, and then it plays some music in the background as well. So that's just for Streamlabs, but I'm going to go over how you can just set it up in general, you know? Um, that's for Stream Deck, sorry, um, I meant to say. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to this themes area here. And what we're going to do is we're going to download a theme. Now, if you don't have um, the Streamlabs Prime thing, don't worry, I don't either. You don't need it. It's just like kind of extra stuff you can get. Because as you can see, you have this little Prime logo here and all these really, really cool ones, which you probably want to have. Um, but if you just literally go down, make sure you do actually have on scene themes right here. Um, because that's the one which you need it on. You have some settings along the side. You can search for a certain keyword if you want to find a certain type of one. You can do newly added, most installed or trending. I just use newly added or trending because they're like the best ones. You can put some key, uh, theme colors in case you want to have a certain color to your, um, Thing. So we're going to do blue. You can have a theme as well. You can do all this different different type of stuff. And as you can see right here, right here, we'll have some which aren't actually prime um, ones. So we're going to go on this one right here. We're going to see what this is like. So we have a starting soon one. Then we'll be right back. And then ending. So then the three you actually get. And then we'll also get this one as well, which is just the gameplay. So basically what you have, this woman's always on every single one. Um, what you basically have is this little border, and then you can put your face cam in if you want, um, and it's pretty cool. Uh, so obviously, if you wanna if you wanna download this one, you wanna click install 
overlay. And as soon as you do that, it'll direct you to the screen. It'll, it'll apply all the different things here. If it doesn't actually have it on there, you want to do the little uh, drop down arrow and it'll have some ones here and you'll just click on the one which you want. Um, that might be if, the, if you have multiple different setups. But once you've actually clicked that install thing, it should pop up with um, your setup. It literally is that simple, just downloading a theme. And if it has stuff like social media, like right here, uh, find it on social media, you can literally, like, you know, change it. And for this so much I got right here, it was kind of, it's, it was kind of good uh, because it has editable, editable content blocks, which is the social media ones here. So I can actually edit this and then I can import it to wherever I want because I can just add a scene and it just copy pastes it over here. So it's really, really simple. Now I have support and then background. It's really cool. Um, but either way, that's just a simple way in how to get started. You just add a theme and you just change some of the settings. It's really self-explanatory. You just change all the settings from down here. And uh, yeah, if you want to actually add anything as well, I'll maybe I'll go over this as well. You can just click the little plus button here and you have loads of stuff to play around with. I would honestly say, like, get used to all this type of stuff yourself, play around with it, because the only person you're going to learn is if is you if you actually learn from it, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to learn that much if you just watch someone else do it, because you know exactly, you know, oh, this is what you need to do, then this is what you need to do, you know, this is what you need to do, for that one specific thing. If you play around with it, you eventually get to know it and nail it. Um, but yeah, for setting up wise, getting a theme, pretty simple. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.